Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm father of two hellions and we are back with the cannon follets. The pillars of the earth and we are at chapter two, the early beginning, and our mission is to hunt for food right now, and our current location is in the shoot forest. So, that's a ball. And my slingshot random misses option menu. And to indicate that it's Book One Progress Chapter Two of Seven. And yeah. I'm a moron. I usually forget this. Do you know what this is? This is the um, power cord for the laptop. So good thing this is not a triple A game. Oh shit. Plug it in. It's quite rather tight here. It didn't do much, but hopefully the sound level and stream smoothness will be a lot better now. So, inspect here. Okay, you are hungry, mate. It's dead. It's rotting. What a waste. Dead. So, don't drink that water. Do we go up here? Or do we continue this path? Hoofprint. Okay, so essentially go this way first. We couldn't. Oh well, let's go to the other way then. Hoofprint. So now we go that way. Well, it's leading to the ball, right? Ah, there it is. We will hunt it with a slingshot. There we go. Ow. Time. Ah, shit. Missed. Yes. Oh, he sounded way young. You went to Mother will be Brown. Yeah, pick it up. Yeah, I know you're hungry. Grab the deer and you walk home. My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. I was proud to have killed my first deer that day. And while waiting for mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. The cave, huh? The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. Mm. <laughs> he has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh, Remember it? He. Think harder. The Lord and King of all France. Charles the Great has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. Before him, not a single fort remains. <laughs> Afternoon was approaching fast, and Mother still hadn't returned. So, if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own. Else it would all go to waste. You know how to do it. Soon I will know it all by heart. Venison. No, it might get dirty. <laughs> well, of course, don't use a book on it. Hmm. 
sacked on us, nuts and turnips. This has gone moldy. Oh, that's a castle, eh? It's a half. Fix the half. Sacks, do we need anything from there? Cure it. I can't eat it raw. I need to cure it. Meat goes bad fast. Smoke the meat. Well, there to go. Oh, tools. Never mind. There we go. Inspect. Ellen's bow. Ellen and Jack keeps them around a short and long range weapon in their home. The two lead the lives as outlaws. Outside of society and protection of the law. Both can serve as an invaluable tool both for hunting and self protection. Those outlaws were once accused of a crime but failed to appear for judgment. According to law, their contracts claim and ownership then fell void as outlaws have no right anyone can harm them or capture them and turn them in. Thus, many outlaws turn to life of hiding and thievery. I would do so too. I should have taken tools, bookshelf. I can't eat it. I need to cure it. Me. I first see my old brown <sighs> logs. Idiot. On the half. Good. It's warmer. Now I need some wet wood to make it smoke properly. Huh? What's that? It sounds like a baby. Oh, it's them. Yeah, it's them. Oh, cool. We'll invite them home. I bet Ellen is there. No, it's not Dan. Follow him. You go home and wait for me, little cub. You didn't leave the baby. No, she's buried. I want to go home. Put 
put it on the phone? No. Oh well. Cover it again then. So, she gave birth and died, right? Yeah. Mother? She should have brought your tools with you. Don't move. We killed the pig thief in Salisbury. We can kill you too. Bloody outlaw. Where's the baby? Did you eat it? Hey, Run. I'm talking to you. What's this? Give it back. What do you want with this? You can't read. Give it back. Leave the boy be, Alfred. He he took the baby. I saw him take Mother's cloak. He's the only one around. Who else would have taken it? How did you lose a fucking baby? It was a monk. A monk took it. You're honest, Jack. A monk? Yes, on a horse. Is that true? <laughs> Where did he go? He should take us there. Leave him alone. He's just a boy. What is your name, boy? Jack. Do you live in these woods, Jack? Then you know this place better than us. Please. I don't know why I left the child. I thought I couldn't take care of him alone, but I cannot leave him to die either. I have to know if he's alright. You're the worst fucking you parent us? ever. Nod. You're a good lad. I owe you. You better fucking do. If you want your silly book back, you better keep your word. Fuck you, Alfred. Shoot it with an arrow. For now, I had no choice. The girl was sobbing while her father remained tense but quiet. The boy kept on pushing me, which confused me greatly. I had never been hated before. If I had any plans of getting away, it would be like hunting deer. I had to stay sharp until the others got to be. Oh yeah. Like bolting when they don't expect it. Follow the most trail. Two days on horseback to Glossier. Seven days to Lincoln. Half a day on horseback to Salisbury. And Winchester is one day on horseback. Good to know. The monk had crossed a small stream, or he had followed its course north, which would have led him towards the next village. Either way, the tracks ended at a riverbed as evening was fast approaching. The big man looked at me. Which way, boy, he asked. But I could only guess. Don't let me decide. Shit, um... What well, is seven days to Lincoln? One day to Winchester. Oh, unless it goes... to Glorsha. Follow the river. The stream led us to a more convenient crossing. Here, one could easily pass without getting drenched in icy water. Suddenly, the boy called out. He had spotted something on the other bank. A set of fresh hoof prints. He laughed triumphantly as our eyes locked. Yeah, I miss his success. 
So we crossed the river, the boy cheerfully mocking my skills as a tracker. If they get happy that we like them, they will be so steady. Keep on walking. And they are going to Winchester. What is it? He got us lost. Did you? Papa, I'm tired. That's all right. Come on, up on my shoulders you go. No, I'm too heavy and you're too tired anyway. I will remain steadfast. You should all get some rest. Alfred, stay here with them while I take a look ahead. No, don't go. I don't get to I'm only far lost. Besides, you can do me a favor while I'm gone. Have an eye on the lads and make sure they get some sleep, all right? All right. See? You are steadfast. I won't be long. That's a bad idea. You stay where I can see you while my sister rests. And no tricks. If we're gonna do any tricks, we're gonna get the book back. Oh, it's a mission as well. What is it? D did you hear something? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I I'm not. Yes, you are. I don't like you. Tell me, why do you care about your book so much? Wait, wh wh where is it? You sneaky thief. I knew it. You just want to rob us. Shut you up. You took Alfred. it first. You're an animal. You don't even know what it is. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. What are you rambling on about? It's from the book. How do you know this? You're an animal. Uh, can't you read? Can't you read? Hey, you see that? <laughs> okay. Over there in the fog. There is something there. Uh, what happened? Uh, no man. It said a deer. What is it? A deer. It broke through the ice and died. Children! Wake up, dear. Hello, Elle. Who's she? We met in the forest. I'm Jack's mother. Come here, Jack. Did you find her? Yes, dear, we did. The baby is safe. The monk brought it to a small cell not far from here. But we won't go there now. Ellen offered us shelter for tonight. I have. Follow me. Well, let's just see one. Alfred will fuck up. If I'd known you lived this close, my Agnes might have been safe. Don't fool yourself. When a woman is bleeding inside, it either stops 
or it doesn't. All you can do is keep her warm, and you did that. I'm sorry, but the living must take care of the living. Jack, give the children some soup, will you? Do it. Listen to your mother. Will you be able to get work soon? Yeah, hard to say. Thank you. To Martha People don't first. usually hire a new master builder in winter. Too cold for stir in the winter. Sometimes you get lucky. Thank you, Jack. Not this year. She's nicest. And then, of course, we're going to go to Alfred as well. Of course, we are Some time from. ago, I had work in Exeter. They offered me the post of builder for the Castellan to keep the walls and defences in shape. It would have kept me busy for the rest of my life. We would have lived like bishops. What happened? I refused. All I cared about was working on a cathedral again. I was a fool. Give Alfred. <laughs> you can do better than to build churches. Tell me so. Well, I worked on one once. That was good work. And I won't ramble on now. But if you ask Martha, she'll tell you everything about it. Can we take some soup now? You know, a man like you should not beat himself so hard. No. No, there is no excuse for no my baby really, son no. Died. Women die in labor. Men abandon their children all the time. It is rare that they return. Is that what happened to you and your son? No. That is an altogether different story. One I haven't even told Jack yet. All I can say is, I raised him alone in this cage, the soup first, huh? outside of town law. Just us and the forest. How do you get by? We hunt, we gather. It works well enough for us, too, to survive. We almost would have had meat today, too. But it started to rot before we could cure it. Eat well, children. We'll need your strength. And so do you, Master Builder. Go on, tuck in. Well, I will. Thank you. We would really start to rot now? by one day. So, what is it? I told you that the monk had taken the baby to a small cell nearby. It's true, but I advise you to stay away from there. What? Why? Because you abandoned it. That counts as murder. Then... Then I have to steal him. I have to own up to what I've done. I have to take back my son. Think for a moment. You have been out of work since summer. A baby needs a lot of care. More than your other children. How will you feed him? But what am I to do then? Live like you? I don't know a thing about hunting. I'm a mason. Even in a castle I'm more at home than here. Leave the baby with the monks. He'd be warm and fed. You wouldn't have to carry him while you look for work. And when you do find something, you can come back and fetch him. I... I, I don't know. Since Agnes died, I don't know anything anymore. You're a good man, Tom Builder. No. You're kind and gentle and strong. You will do the right thing. You also don't have to go through this alone, you know. Jack and I will have to leave this place soon. The winter is too cruel and we might not survive if we stayed. We could all travel together. I don't know. I have my hands full with my children already. I can help you take care of them. If you promise to teach my son how to get along in the world of men. Mm -hmm. We may be strangers now, but we would be at each other's side, helping out however we can. The living must take care of the living. Oh. Yes. I'm going to see a castle. That night I dreamed of a strange world. There were small castles, oh, dead deer, build a castle in and a giant the cave. called Tom. In that dream I was happy. I tightly held my mother's hand, watching the kind giant and learning his mysterious ways. I like that.
Or did we let the meat spoil? It was a sound. Well, we will survive anyway. Hmm. The only thing I think we could have done really different is well let the meat not spoil, cure it. But then I think if you do that it takes some time and uh, Well essentially well you smoke it for a while. Hmm, I don't know. Oh well. Okay, give Martha soup first, maybe she will remember it. Alfred tolerates us. We look forward to finally living, leaving the forest. So, except that, chapter 2 is done. This chapter was way, way shorter than another one. Chapter 3, the conspiracy. The palace of Bishop. And blah, blah, blah. And this... Mm will be <clears throat> in the next video so we are gonna terminate the stream right here because we're gonna switch game so and for all of you youtube is out there this was a really short video compared to the last one thank you all for watching hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already check my twitter <laughs> Ooh, sorry check my twitch if you want to and also my facebook so take care now and we we'll see each other shortly bye now cheers save i will save this one right here because i want to see how we could do things differently some other time but we will continue on this one take care now and i'll be back in a minute Bye-bye.